Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be drawing a little Valentine bee. To do this project, you're gonna be a piece of paper, something to write and draw with, and crayons or markers for coloring. Let's get started. To draw the Valentine bee, you're gonna start in the middle of the paper, and you're gonna draw about a medium-sized oval. I'm gonna leave a little room up top. Come right about in the middle of the paper again. and make that medium-sized oval. On top of the oval, I'm gonna do two circles on the si each side. So there's one circle, and I'm gonna come to the other side and make another circle. Inside the circles, I'm gonna draw smaller circles, and I'm gonna darken them in because these are gonna be the eyeballs. If you'd like to leave a little bit of white, you can leave that for the shine in the eye. And don't forget to do it in both of the circles. In between the eyes, I'm going to make the bee's antenna. So I'm gonna come up, with a straight line, and then that line is gonna curve around, and around, and around. And if you didn't get that the first time, that's fine, you can always rewind the video, but I'm actually gonna do it again. I'm gonna trace that line up again, go out the other way, and go around, and around, and around. Next, I'm gonna come inside the bee and I'm gonna make a heart. So to make a heart, I start in the middle but almost near the bottom, leave a little bit of space. And I start right in the middle to come up, slant up, and make a hook or candy cane line. I'm gonna do the same thing, only this time I'm gonna make my candy cane or hook line go the other way. So I start in the same place, right in the middle. I slant up in the other direction, curve it around like a hook or a candy cane and connect it in the middle. So now you have a heart. And I wanna add some stripes. So I'm gonna start on the left side, I'm gonna make a line that comes across gonna go behind the heart and continue across to the other side. I'm gonna do it again, come down a little bit, come across, stop, it's gonna go behind the heart, and then continue my line. My next one's probably gonna be right below the heart, so I can just continue the line across, and I'm gonna do one more. So now we've got a little stripes on our bee. I'm also gonna give him a nice big smile. So I come right above the heart that I drew. I make a smile shape and I put circles on the ends for cheeks. At the bottom of my B, I'm gonna make a straight line down right from the middle. I'm gonna make a straight line across it. And then I'm going to make a V. So it's gonna slant down, slant up and connect so that my bee has a little stinger. It actually kind of looks like a little arrow. You see lots of hearts and arrows around Valentine's Day. Now to make my wings, I'm gonna be drawing some hearts, but to make it easier for myself, I'm just gonna turn my paper to the side. I'm gonna start on the side of the bee, and just like I did with that first heart that we made, I'm gonna start right in the middle, slant up, and make a hook. And I'm gonna do the same thing, only this time I'm gonna leave like a little finger space in between. I start on the other side, slant up, and make a hook that connects to the other one. 
I'm gonna do this one more time. This time I'm gonna do it inside the heart. A little smaller this time, slant up, make a hook, come back down, slant up, make a hook or candy cane. So now my bee has one wing and I'm gonna turn it to the other side and add the other one. We're still doing those hooks for hearts. So I start on the side, slide up, make a hook, leave a little finger space, slide up, make a hook, and then right inside I do the same thing. Slide up, make a hook, start at the same point, slide up, and make a hook. So now I have my little B for Valentine's Day. If you want to add in the words B mine, you can write it right inside the heart. And you can use that hook shape again to make lots of different hearts to decorate your page. So you can add as many hearts as you want, but we're finished with our basic drawing. So now that we're done, let's color it in. Now that we've colored in our B, let's go over some trick words. Remember, trick words, sight words, no by heart words, are words that you can't necessarily sound out, you have to memorize them. So let's take a look at some now. Do you know this word? This word is me. Read it with me. Me. Let's spell it. M E. And the word is me. Our next word is do. Read it with me. Do. Let's spell it. D O. And the word is do. Our next word is for. Read it with me, four. Let's spell it, F-O-R, and the word is four. Our next word is A. Read it with me, A. Let's spell it, A, and the word is A. I also might pronounce this word, a, uh, so if you say A or a, uh, Either one is correct, as long as you know that it's a word. Here we have our next word. This word is have. Read it with me. Have. Let's spell it. H-A-V-E. And the word is have. Our last word is you. Read it with me. You. Let's spell it, Y-O-U, and the word is you. Now that we've gone over our words, let's get ready to write. Our sentence today is going to be, do you have a valentine for me? I'm gonna use some lined paper, but you can write on any kind of paper that you have laying around your house. Again, our sentence is, do you have a valentine for me? So let's get started. Our first word is do. Do you remember how to spell do? This is the beginning of my sentence, so my D has to be uppercase, and I write D, O, do. Let's read what we have. Do, you. Do you remember how to spell the word you? Add a finger space and write Y O U U. Fingers ready to read. Do you have? Do you remember how to spell the word have? 
add a finger space and write H A V E have. Fingers ready to read again. Do you have a? Do you remember how to spell the word a or a? Add a finger space and write the letter a for the word a or a. Let's read again from the beginning. Do you have a valentine? Valentine was not one of our trick words. If you think you're ready to sound out the word, you can sound it out in its syllables. Valentine. You can write the first sound that you hear, or if you're not quite ready for sounding out the word and you feel like you need a little help, you can copy my label, Valentine. I'm running out of room here, so I'm gonna swing back to the left and go right underneath. Fingers ready to read again. Do you have a valentine for? Do you remember how to spell the word for? Add a finger space and write F O R for. Fingers ready to read again. Do you have a valentine for me? Do you remember how to spell the word me? Let's add a finger space and write M E me. Let's get ready to read again. Do you have a valentine for me. We need some type of punctuation to stop our sentence. Do you know the type of punctuation that we need? If you said a question mark, you're correct. We're asking a question. Do you have a valentine for me? I sure hope you do. So here at the end, I'm going to add my question mark. And now, I'm ready to do one final reading. Fingers ready? Do you have a Valentine for me? I hope that you enjoyed our lesson and I hope you enjoyed doing your guided drawing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope you have a, all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye.